Hi, I'm Michael from In The Mix, and in this video you'll learn how to set up and use the Yulene Loudness Meter Lite. There's lots of different ways to use this app, so we'll look at setting it up in standalone mode and with an audio interface to monitor the loudness of a microphone. Then I'll show you how to load it as a plugin in your iOS audio workstation so that you can monitor and perfect the loudness of your projects or mixes. And then finally, I'll show you how to connect it to your computer to use it as a wireless audio meter in your studio. And of course, I'll be showing you how to customize the user interface and settings to make it just right for your workflow. There are chapter markers or timestamps along the bottom of the video, so please use these to navigate the guide if you're just looking for one topic in particular. But let's start with using the app in standalone mode. After downloading, simply open the app on your homepage and it will begin measuring the inputs to the iPad. You can see there's quite a bit of information here and we can enable and disable other view modes such as the frequency spectrum and stereo correlation meter here. You can view any combination of these and expand them using this button in the bottom right corner. You can also use this mode with an audio interface to quickly set and check the level of any microphone that's connected. The loudness meter light becomes much more powerful when you use it as a plugin inside a DAW. I'm using Cubasis, but the process is similar in most audio workstations. Load up the mixer and then add the meter as a plugin on your master track. So insert plugin, look for audio units, and it should be there if you've downloaded it. At this point, it's best to quickly open the mixer again and just check that the meter is the final plugin in your chain. This is really important when you're setting the final loudness of your project. We can expand the meter using these buttons here and using all the different view modes, it's giving us that crucial loudness information, which is so important when we're setting our final compression and limiting. And the final way to use this app is as a standalone hardware meter for your Windows or Mac OS computer. It will connect wirelessly and can be used with any desktop DAW. With your iOS device and computer on the same Wi-Fi network, simply open the app in standalone mode and press this button in the bottom right corner to open up the network settings. Then simply enable audio over network here and the status will say waiting for connection. With that done, let's head to the DAW and on your master track, load the Ulean audio over network plugin. This will send the audio information from wherever you put it in the project, so it's best to load it as the last effect. Press auto connect and then after a few seconds, the app and plugin should sync up and start giving you real time loudness and audio information wirelessly. You can also connect by typing the IP address here, or if you're connecting from Mac, you can bypass the wireless connection by using a lightning cable. Pressing more info will display the IP address and you can simply type this into the app and click on the connect button. Now that we've set up the app, let's dive into it in more detail. So on the left hand side, you have your main meters, which display the left and right channel loudness, as well as the momentary and short term loudness. Over here, we have a digital readout of that short term and integrated loudness, as well as the true peak max loudness, which will stay locked at its highest value until you reset the meter with this button. You might prefer the meter to automatically reset. And if that's the case, press this button select a time period, and whenever that time has lapsed, it will automatically reset. You can customize this part of the interface using these three buttons here to display a loudness graph, frequency spectrum, or stereo correlation meter. You can also disable any graphs you don't need and enlarge the ones you do using this button in the bottom right corner. As well as enlarging just one, you can also enlarge a combination of different graphs. So depending on what you're working on, you can highly customize this meter to suit your workflow. Let's take a closer look at the loudness graph. On the right, you can see a loudness target, and sometimes at the top, there's a red true peak alert. Let's change these to make them suitable for what we're working on. If you start by opening the presets, most of the use cases are covered by these industry standard presets. If for instance, I want to master a loud song for Spotify, I can choose Spotify loud, and now the loudness target and true peak alerts have changed to help you be compliant with the loudness requirements for that platform. Open the settings here to manually change any of this. You can enable or disable different loudness graphs to streamline your interface, and you can adjust your targets here. Simply select and drag them to the left or right to set your custom targets. 
You can use the fine tune button for more control, which is especially useful when setting the true peak maximum loudness. Monitoring true peak loudness is essential if you want your music to encode into compressed formats well, and now you can see I'll get an alert every time I exceed the target that I've set. When everything's set up the way you like it, simply press the preset button and you can save this preset at the bottom here, just give it a name and then it will appear in the presets list the next time you need to use it. I'm going to quickly maximize the frequency spectrum because again we can customize this to our liking. If I open the settings again at the bottom right and swipe to the left, we gain access to all of the spectrum options. A useful one to adjust is the FFT size up here. Auto is pretty good, but we can lower the resolution if we'd like. Or, potentially more useful if we open the settings up again, is to increase the resolution. And now you can see there's a lot more detail. Another useful option is the ability to adjust the attack and release times of this spectrum. So if you increase the release time, you can see that the graph sort of slowly decays away. Whereas if you choose a short release time, it reacts much more dynamically to the incoming material. Another feature is the hold max, and you can set this to a number of seconds, and then you will have a gray trace behind which will hold the maximum value for that length of time. But one of the most useful features is the smooth function. Increasing this along with the release time really smooths out the frequency spectrum and it can help you identify frequency buildups or areas that might need reinforcement in your mix. Hopefully this video has got you up and running with the Yulene loudness meter light and remember to click on the link in the video description and download the free version on your iPhone or iPad device. <laughs>